Let's pull into my spot and get ready and uh, see a garbage bag and yeah, check this out. This is what I find. Somebody put a great shot on it. Obviously gutted it out. Drug it out from wherever they shot it. Could have been here, could have been somebody somewhere else, and then dumps the body, cuts off the head. Go Michigan Hunters! Your top class! Well, maybe I figured out why the spot went so sour. 20 minutes of seeing the light left, and the guy over there gets up and starts walking out. But she started hunting it in the last week. All I can hope is that maybe he kicked something up to me as he's walking out. It was November 13th, in, uh, back in the Tri-Ridge stand. As you can see, it's, uh, scenery's changed a lot since last week. A lot of leaves down. It is cold. You got a little bit of snow on the ground. Kind of a snow rainy mix. Um, I had some coyotes serenading me at first light. As soon as I got the camera going to try to capture at least the sound, they shut up. But I also got a hunter set up over here again. Probably the same hunter that was that walked out um, last Sunday afternoon. He's in a tree saddle, so he's cutting me off from that way, and I'm cutting him off from this way. But what you gonna do? It's public land. It's part of the program. Snow. Beautiful. Should be the kind of day the bucks are up on their feet and moving. Well, the guy just walked over. He started walking this direction, so I figured he would just come to talk and see what's going on. And uh, never knew I was here. But uh, this was his first time hunting here. So it's not the guy that was here last week. So the guy that was here last week is new. This guy is new. It's like I got this spot in the middle of freaking nowhere. It's probably why everybody's walking a mile to get into it from all kinds of directions. And this is probably why it's not good anymore. Just like every other spot I found that's been good on public land just ends up getting screwed up because for some reason it seems like shortly after I find it and start seeing deer and it seems like a good spot miraculously everybody just swoops in on it. It's weird. It's the only way I can explain it. So we're done with this stand for the year. We're going to hunt tomorrow, um, most likely, morning and afternoon, maybe. Um, and I guess we're going to have to just hit one of our other two stands or do a different set of some sort. So, we're going to sit tight, though, and let them walk out, see if we maybe spook something. Uh, maybe something might come around this way, circle around him as he's going out. Well, it's November 14th. The day before the orange army is going to come through and just screw everything up. So my last chance to try to get something done while the deer are in uh, somewhat of a normal pattern. And I'm in the Ohio stand and just a little bit ago here at 730 else and I heard something behind me and a small buck came through about 20-25 yards. Didn't give me a chance to get a real good look at him but um, probably wouldn't have shot him, even if he was, even if I had a chance to grab my bow, which I didn't, but, um, I finally seen a deer, it's been a dry spell. Here comes another one. Well, that one was a doe. Hopefully Mr. Big is coming behind her. She was acting kind of weird.
Well, this is it. One last sip for the regular Michigan bow season. And uh, see what happens. There's a couple of trucks parked down where I park. I'm assuming these are gun hunters getting ready, so who knows, they could just screw everything up and be tromping through the woods already today, but, or maybe they could bump something to me. It's either going to be really good or really bad. Well, it's November 20th, and this is my opening day of gun. Um, back in on the state land, snuck into a new spot, and... I'm going to try to smack a doe or a decent buck because uh, I got room in the freezer and I need more burger even with all that elk. I got so many steaks, there's very little um, burger so we need, to, uh, we need to get a little bit more burger. So. November 21st and uh, decided to creep in early in the afternoon came up over a rise seeing a doe um, she didn't know I was there I shot at her you can tell by the way she was running she didn't act hit but I kind of slowly took up the trail and started trying to find some kind of sign of blood couldn't find any blood but lo and behold I come up over another rise and there's a deer, I'm pretty sure it's the same one. Shot her, dropped her, um, then she got up and went and bedded down. Um, snuck in position and tried to get another shot in there and she got up and moved and I could tell she's hurting, she didn't move very far. Um, looks like, uh, based on what I could see, looks like she was hit back a little bit. Um, not sure if that was this shot or if it was the second shot, but uh, she sped it down again, probably about 60 yards away. So I'm going to give her some time, and yeah, I think it's only maybe 2 o'clock. Hopefully we got some venison burger. I'm going to head back to the truck and get the deer cart. I'll give her some time to expire, hopefully. That way, when she does, at least I'm ready to drag her out. But uh, I got plenty of time, so I can do that. Well, once you know it, my uh, cart has two flat tires yet after I pumped them up the other day. Check that out. Um, thank goodness I have a tow harness in my truck. So we're going to do it the old fashioned way, which is alright because it's less bulk to sneak back in there and hopefully see if she's expired. Hopefully she is. Where we can get in close enough to finish her off. Well, I kind of got tired of waiting. <clears throat> kind of stepped out to see if she would move. She did better than I expected. But she ran out, stood broadside, and I was able to get a shot. And she's down finally. little girl not the biggest one but all I needed was uh, some burger and I wasn't gonna be picky because we are not gonna go uh, run out of venison <laughs> and she made sure that didn't happen so very thankful I'm gonna start getting her cleaned up get her tagged and get her dragged all right deed is done She's gutted, tagged, and now it's time for the drag. Well, 
might have found a pretty good spot to maybe bow hunt. She rubs all over. And check out, check out the size of that one. There's a old rub there. There's a rub right there. One over there. I have to check this spot out. downhill from here. <laughs> 